Audio Jungle. Good afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV, Baba Bagede Imo TV. I am Mori Ray Rebila Lawal. First are the major headlines for the national news. Make our borders impenetrable. Buhari orders immigration. Elrofi spent 255 billion naira of 310 billion naira in 2020 budget, Accountant General. Emir Abdute, Nobu Senusi II is dead. OPC members born or shown baker over stolen money. Suspected headman ambush Benway policemen killed. DPO. Finally, Remo stars are not scared of Ayamba, head coach, or Gomorade boasts. Now the news in detail. The President, Major General Muhammad Buhari, retired as ordered the Nigeria Immigration Service to make the country's border impenetrable to infiltrators ahead of the coming election. This was contained in a statement made available to journalists by Minister of Interior on Tuesday. The Minister, Raouf Aregbe Shola, through his media aide, Shola Fashore, conveyed Buhari's directive while inaugurating the Katsina NIS Command Office and the rollout of the enhanced e passport in the state. He said that President Mohamed Buhari has ordered that Nigerian borders should be made impenetrable to foreign bodies who might want to come in and manipulate the election process or engage in other nefarious activities. According to Arabe Shola, the president, order is between now and the period of the Nigeria concludes all the elections. The NIS should make the country's borders impregnable even after the elections. And to Kaduna State, Governor Nasser Arifai's government spent 254 Point nine billion out of a 309.9 billion naira budgeted for 2022, representing 82.2 percent of budget performance, leaving a variance of 55 billion naira. This is according to the fourth quarter budget performance report produced by the Accountant General's Office with the support of the State Planning and Budget Commission. The report, published on government official websites and obtained on Tuesday shows that the initial budget was 278.6 billion naira, but was revised to 309.9 billion naira. On capital expenditure, the report shows that the government spent 165.6 billion naira against 196.8 billion naira, but stayed for the year, representing 84.1% performance and leaving a shortfall of 31.3 billion naira. For recurrent expenditure, the government spent 89.3 billion naira against 113 billion naira, representing 79% performance with a shortfall of 23.8 billion naira. On revenue performance, the government realized 255.2 billion naira as against the 309.9 billion naira projected, representing 82.2% performance with a variance of 54.7 billion naira. The recurrent revenue made up of government share of the Federal Allocation Account Committee and internally generated revenue was 150.3 billion naira as against 157.7 billion naira, representing 95.3% performance with a variance of 7.5 billion naira. To the next story on the sad north, the Emir of Ditse, the capital city of Jigawa State, Nobu Muhammad Senussi II is there. The first-class traditional ruler in the northwestern part of Nigeria and a former chancellor of Sokoto State University died after a brief illness. Meanwhile, the Jigawa State Governor Mohamed Badaru has expressed his condolences on the passing of the monarch. In a statement, the governor described the late Emir as a true leader and a respected figure in the community, known for his wisdom, compassion, and dedication to the well-being of his people. He also recognized the late Emir's contribution to the growth and development of Dutse and the positive impact it had on the community. 
The governor offered his thoughts and prayers to the late families and loved ones during this difficult time and said that the late Emir's legacy will live on through the countless lives he touched. May his soul rest in peace and may memories of his life bring comfort and solace to those people he leaves behind. The, con the statement concluded. And to the next story. A 22-year-old baker, David Sonny, has demanded compensation after he was allegedly tortured by some members of the Odudua People's Congress after 3.8 million naira was stolen from a bakery where he worked. Information gathered that Sonny worked with a bakery in a supermarket, unique superstore in the Owodere area of Boshu State. He was said to have resumed as usual and was informed that the bakery was robbed by an unknown person who stole 3.8 million naira. The baker said he was abducted by the OPC members to where parts of his body were burnt with fire and cigarette snobs. Sonny said on January 8, somebody broke into the supermarket around 1 a.m. and robbed till 5 a.m. It came to a shock to us all because it could somehow someone robbed for the long and no one would notice. It was when we checked the closed psyche television camera in the morning that we found this out and the security guard on duty slept throughout the operation. The person cutted away a lot of money and there was no way to identify or trace him because the CCTV camera didn't capture the person well. The only thing we could obtain from the CCTV was that someone broke in and security guard slept off. To the next story. The divisional police officer, DPO, in charge of NACA, the headquarters of Gwer West local government area of Benue State, Superintendent of Police Mahmoud Aoukar has been killed in an ambush by suspected ex-men operating in the area. Aoukar was responding to a distress call from his road users along the Nakamakurdi Road with his team when the suspected ex-men ambushed them and killed him in the process. The Nakamakurdi Road has become impassable for road users for fear of ex-men attack. On the one hand, on the other hand, the deplorable condition of the Angpa Adoka Naka to Makudi Federal Road, which was under construction but was abandoned last year by contractors. The Bernie State Police Command confirmed the killing verbally to Channel's television. In a subsequent statement, the police spokesperson in the state, Anene Katrin, said the Naked Police Division received information on Tuesday afternoon that armed men blocked Makudi Naka Road and people were running back to Naka Town for safety. The Divisional Police Officer DPO of Naka Police Division. SP Mahmoud Aubuka mobilized a team and moved to the scene, the statement partly read. On sighting the police vehicle, the hoodlums engaged them in a gun duel that lasted until the police were able to suppress the hoodlum and rescue people that were held at the road before the DPO got shot and killed. Moving to the last story on sports. Remo Stars head coach Daniel Ogumodede is upbeat on the chances of his team against Ayimba in Wednesday today Premier Nigeria Premier League football match five encounter. The Sky Blue Stars will look to bounce back from last Saturday's 3-0 disappointing outing to Bendel Insurance when they host the eight-time champions in Ikene. Ayimba, who are the most successful side in the history of the NPFL, were in devastating form in their last game, edging out Quarrow United 3-0 in Aba. The People's Elephants also have a lot of quality players in their team with a sound technical bench led by the former Super Eagles winger George Finidi. Despite a Yimba's huge pedigree, Ogumadede is however confident his team can claim a foremost win against the Aba Giants. A Yimba, we know how they play. We have watched a lot of their games. No doubt, they are one of the top sides in the country. They are a household name, Ogumadede said in a short video posted on the club's official Twitter handle, hoping his team triumph over a Yimba. That ends the national news from BGI TV this hour. Before we go, some major headlines. Make our borders impenetrable, worry others' immigration. LRFI spent 255 billion naira of 310 billion naira in 2022 budget, Akatan General says. Emir of Dutse, Nuku Senusi II, is there. Finally, on sport, Remo Stars not scared of Ayimba. 
head coach Ogumodede boast. For more updates on our YouTube handle, the handle is Baba Bagede Imo TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. Select option all to access our broadcast. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawiye Adebayo. Please like and follow the page. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. For advert placement of goods and services, coverage of events and functions, please dial the phone number streaming on your screen for advert placements only. Thank you for watching. I am Moriwe Rebila Lawa. Good afternoon. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle.